What's that? Huh? Can't see? What? The Freaky Geek Switch. Oh, Freaky Geek Switch? Yeah. Is that Jemmy? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> And you have a sausage, egg, and cheddar, and a butterscotch cream, no coffee, coconut milks, mocha, and frappuccino. Coconut milk is a very good substitute. Go ahead, Joshua, tell them. Welcome to the channel. Say it, it is. Welcome to the channel. And subscribe. And subscribe. Tough subject today, you guys. <laughs> it's been a really tough day, so I'm going to try to get through this. Um, you know, you have one of those days that just everything that... I shouldn't say that because then something's going to go wrong with the video. But we're going to just think positive. But those days where... You know those days. All right, so let's get into this video. I am going to tackle this subject of puberty. We're going through that right now. Um, welcome to our channel, Autism Is, and our son Joshua, 12 years old, has high functioning autism. So this is more so on the high functioning side. Um, Joshua is, you know, he can communicate with me and tell me things. He has expressed a lot about things that he is going through during puberty. He has had a lot of questions about his body and things that are changing, things that are happening with him. It's one of those subjects that, I mean, we have it in school now. We have the classes for the kids to take in school. It is a tough subject for parents to approach and talk to a lot of times for their kids. Think how hard it is for a parent who has a child with autism to approach that subject. However, I will say Joshua is very vocal and he asks questions. If there's something changing with him, he will ask. So I've taken the things that he's asked me with a lot of consideration as to how I do this video, I come across with certain things. So a lot of things that I won't get into, but just some of the basic things. Some of the things that I feel are really important, probably already know, but I will reiterate, like I said, we're going through puberty right now. And Joshua did talk to me a little bit about it. Um, I only learned him because you talked to me about it. And this might be really, it might be helpful for you too. So we're talking about, and I wonder if you know what this is, we're talking about puberty in boys and girls. And it starts about 11, anywhere from 11 years old, and you're 12, right? Do you know what that means exactly? When you grow up. When you grow up, that's exactly what it is, right? So you're growing up and um, you're having some changes that are happening and do you understand it really or you don't really understand it? A lot of, a lot of kids don't understand it. Did you know that? Yeah. They don't understand it. And having autism, it would be a lot harder to understand, okay? Or do you not want to talk about it? Don't feel like saying right now. Oh, <laughs> just smacked a bug on your face. <laughs> little bugs, little bugs are getting. Okay, so um, we didn't get to, I didn't get to go into a lot with him, but I said there are a lot of things that he has discussed with me that we've gone over that I've learned that are concerning to him. The, the couple of the things that I would say are, I, we know that puberty can hit early sometimes, as early as 9, 10 years old, but typically around 11, 12, 13 years old, right when they're becoming teenagers. And had I thought about this more, more aware and, and thoughtful to, the, to him turning 
11, 12 years old, talk to him starting around 9, 10, 11 years old, and preparing him that he was going to go through some changes. His body was going to change. He was going to start growing hair. Because one thing we know about autism is change is very difficult for children with autism. Um, it is for Joshua. He notices anything that is out of the ordinary or different that is not flowing the way that it usually flows. And he can get very concerned if things are not the same way they were for the last, you know, year, two years, three years, four years, whatever. So when your body starts changing and your voice is getting a little deeper and he's getting some hair, even a little bit of facial hair, but he's getting acne, um, hair, you know, these are concerning to him. This is not something he's prepared for. This is not something that he is aware of. He's not having normal conversations with friends that neurotypical children would be having or that they would hear about in school or that they would even be expecting because this is just not on their radar. And so my biggest thing to you is start, if you have a child that is high functioning and structure and change, uh, structure is very important and any change is a big deal for them, I would start talking to them as carefully and lightly and however you need to do it as soon as they start hitting that 10, 11 years old that in preparing them that things are going to start happening. You are going to start growing. You're going to become a man or a woman. And, you know, I, I can't even uh, fathom having a girl. So my heart goes out to you parents with girls. And I have all the respect for you parents with girls out there because I don't know how you can do it. I don't know. I know you can do it. I know you're going to do it. And I know you will get through it. I just don't envy you. And I have all the respect for you. And I wish I could help you more. I just, uh, I don't have a girl. So, but I do know that the changes, like I said, uh, you're going to get body hair. You're going to get facial hair. You're going to get, you know, all this different things are going to start happening to you. The one thing I want you guys to understand and that I've picked up with Joshua is that I can see how concerning it is to him that he is going through changes. He's getting acne on his face. His body is changing and it is concerning and scary. Our kids have no idea what's going on and they are so in tune with things. That's why noises bother them. They have overly or underly active senses, typically overly, and they stim. And this is their body is their full outlet for everything. So when their body is changing, this is super scary for them. You know, Joshua does, sits there and thinks about what is going on with me. And not one person, not one friend, nobody, even to give them the wrong information, right? Because we always get the wrong information from our friends. He can't even get that from somebody. So as soon as you can start preparing your children for puberty changes, body changes, uh, voice changes, menstrual cycle, whatever it is, start inputting that into their daily life that this is what's going to be happening so that it is a normal occurrence, as normal as it can be, they're prepared for it and they're not scared to death about what is going on, even down to acne. Joshua has walked up to me and he had like a little, a little um, pimple on his side. And he was concerned about it, freaking out about what is this on my body. And that just, it blows me away that you have to look, I have to look at him and think he does not have friends that he's sharing information with. And I almost at this point wished he had someone he could share the wrong information with. Because you know how we were when we were kids. We got the wrong information, but we thought we knew everything and we were good with that. He doesn't even have that. So remember that with your kids. Try to talk to them, um, even just little bits, maybe at night when you're when they're going to bed, and tell them just start dropping these words into their vocab: puberty, growing, changes, body, hair, differences. But it's all okay. It is supposed to happen. I would just recommend that immensely 
to start as soon as you can when you think they're prepared. And if I can help you guys be aware of that. And you guys are probably more on top of it than me. And you're probably like, we already know this. We've already been doing this. So mad at myself that I wasn't doing this sooner. But we are working through it. And there's a lot we're working through. And if you guys have any questions at all, I would like to know, first of all, if you are going through that, if you are, if you do have a child that's going through puberty, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. That'll give me an idea that, you know, how many people out there are actually going through it. If you have any ideas, please let me know, especially if you have a boy. And um, if this video is any value to you, let me know that too. And what would you guys do? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And we will be back. Uh, we're wishing everybody out there peace, love, and happiness. And we'll see you in our next video. Peace. Go ahead. Walk this way. This way. That way. And you can touch the paper. Go that way. This way. That way. Straight.